In this video, we're gonna show you how to design backgrounds with two layers of gradients, masks, and patterns in Divi. You can download the layout design from this tutorial for free at the link in the video description. To start things off, we're on a fresh page and we're going to add a one column row to the existing section in the builder. This row will eventually become the second layer of the background design. Next, we're going to duplicate the row we just created and this row will be used for our content just like you normally would. We'll circle back to the rows later, but for now we're gonna focus on designing the first layer of our background using the section. In order for our background design to fill the browser, we need to add some vertical height to the section. In the section settings, go to design, sizing, and for minimum height, we're gonna change that to 70 VH. Under spacing, go to padding top, make it zero, padding bottom, make that zero as well. Now that we have our section height in place, we have our canvas to create our first background design layer. So go back over to content, go to background, and let's start off with a background gradient. I'm gonna press this plus icon and edit our first stop. This color is going to be BAE9FF and the position is going to be zero. Now let's add another stop at 32% and change that color to ADFFF1. Now at 64%, we're gonna add another stop and change the color to FFF for white. Finally, our stop at 100%, we're gonna change that color to F9B8DD. Now let's scroll down, change the gradient type to circular and keep the position as center. Now back at the top, we're gonna to add a pattern and we're gonna select waves. Change the color to the following values, 127, 206, 255, and our opacity is going to be 0.59. The pattern size is going to be custom size. The width will be 30 VW and the height will be 10 pixels. Back here at the top, we're gonna to add our mask. We're gonna select diagonal pills, scroll down. The mask color will be white. We're gonna do a vertical flip and invert. The mask size is going to be stretched to fill. And let's save our changes. Now that our section background design is ready to go, we can add the second layer using the row we created earlier. That's gonna be the one on top. We're gonna to go to the settings, go to advanced, go to position, and we're gonna change that to absolute. This will allow the row to sit above the section without taking up any actual space in the document. Now, all we need to do is update the height and width so that it spans the full width and height of the section. Under the design tab, we're gonna to go to sizing and we're going to turn equalize column heights to yes, put the width to 100%, max width to 100% as well, and height to 100%. And if we scroll down here, we'll go to spacing and make sure we turn off top and bottom padding. Now, you may not be able to see the row, but it is now perfectly overlaying the entire section background. This gives us our second layer and another blank canvas to complete our design. So back over to content, background, we're gonna add a gradient. Now, keep in mind that because this is our second layer gradient, it's important that we use transparent color stops so that the first layer gradient colors remain visible in certain areas. So we'll add our gradient, and for the first stop, we're going to leave it at 0% and change the color to 7FCEFF. Now we're gonna go add a stop at 40%, and this one we are just going to keep as transparent. Now our final stop at 100%, we're gonna make that color F1DDFF. Scroll down change the gradient type to elliptical, and the gradient position is going to be bottom right. Now it's time for our second layer background pattern. We're going to select confetti. The pattern color is going to be 00FF4C. Pattern size is going to be custom size. The width is going to be 45VW. Scroll down a little more, and the blend mode is going to be screen. Finally, we're going to add our second layer background mask. Again, we're gonna select diagonal pills, choose white for our mask color, do a horizontal flip and invert and save our changes. Now in the row that we saved for our content, we're gonna add a text module for our main heading. So after styling the heading text here, this is our final product. You've now created a background design that consists of two layers. It's worth noting because we entered 70 VH, this isn't going to fill the entire browser, but you can update that by playing with this number. And of course, you could switch up the masks, patterns, and gradients to achieve your ideal look. Be sure to check out our other videos showcasing other background designs, and we also have free resources in the description, like 12 background mask and pattern designs you can download right now. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.